Erica, Emily, good morning. Right now, El Faro still missing. No sign of the wreckage, obviously believed to be at the bottom of the sea, but people who know the crew are not giving up. Now, just yesterday, Monday, the damaged lifeboat was recovered, a damaged lifeboat, but still no sign of the 33-passenger crew. Among them, Jeffrey Mathias, the engineer of El Faro, who lives in Kingston with his wife and three children. Keith Griffin, a Winthrop native, was also on board. His wife is expecting twins. And this woman is from Massachusetts. She says her daughter, Marriott Wright, is happiest on the ocean. She loves the sea. She couldn't live without being on the sea somehow or somewhere. And that, that is her life. And now I'm so afraid she has lost it to the sea. A moment of reflection is set for this morning here at Mass Maritime Academy. Another vigil will take place at Maine Maritime Academy, where four crew members graduated. The NTSB is expected to hold a news conference at 7.30 this morning. We'll keep you posted as we get new developments on the search for the missing cargo ship. Reporting live from Mass Maritime in Buzzards Bay, Todd Kaskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5.